Well, Governor Greg Abbott declaring a state of disaster as protests in the wake of George Floyd's death continue across the country, including right here in Texas. He is now joining us live from the state capitol. Governor, first, thank you for joining us today. You know, these past few weeks, we've seen protests in several states following George Floyd's death. In some areas, we're even seeing violence and looting. What specifically are you doing to handle this kind of behavior? Well, let's be clear, first of all, and that as we all must agree that uh, what happened to George Floyd is a horrific act of police brutality and it must never happen again. And people are rightfully angry and they have a right to protest. However, violence and vandalism uh, across Texas should never be allowed and it has no place here. So what Texas is doing, uh, we are uh, providing Texas Department of Public Safety uh, to the regions that have been impacted most uh, by this violence and vandalism, as well as uh, deploying the National Guard uh, to essential areas across the state of Texas. We understand the need to protest, and there is a First Amendment right to do so. But we also understand that throwing bricks through windows and stealing things is not rightful protest. Governor, we're taking a live look right now at a demonstration in, in Houston. You were on President Trump's call with governors yesterday. What did you think of his remarks calling some governors' responses weak? And do you support his suggestion that perhaps federal troops should be brought into states, states like Texas? Listen, Texas can take care of Texas. And we have plenty of resources, whether it be uh, the thousands of Department of Public Safety personnel that have been deployed across the state, uh, whether it be up to uh, 10,000 uh, National Guard who could potentially be available if needed uh, to deploy across the state. And that is in addition uh, to the remarkable frontline law enforcement officers uh, in every community around our entire state. Texas can and will take care of Texans. We are going to come together we're going to be the model for the nation about how we support our communities and we will transcend the violence that we are seeing while at the same time, everybody uniting together to uh, purge uh, this instance uh, of racism uh, and people understanding that acts uh, of killing like this of what happened to George Floyd can, has no place in Texas. Governor, we have a viewer question from Anthony Lasso. He wants to know what actionable steps are you taking to minimize and more importantly, punish acts of police brutality? So Texas actually has a, a remarkable record of criminal justice reform uh, that addresses challenges like this. And we have been uh, in one of the leading states in the forefront of, of making sure uh, that we avoid situations like this, which is why you're seeing it occur less and less in places like Texas. Uh, Texas uh, passed the James Byrd Jr. Uh, Hate Crimes Law Act uh, to ensure that things like this would never happen again. Governor, a lot of these protests include large groups of people. We're talking hundreds, sometimes thousands, close together, shoulder to shoulder. How concerned are you about the potential spread here of COVID-19? Listen, th this certainly is not optimal uh, as it concerns containing COVID-19. Uh, we've done such a great job, and uh, in particular, you look at the numbers in McLennan County, uh, and you have next to zero uh, cases of COVID-19. Your hospitalizations are next to zero, and so uh, things are well contained where you are. Uh, but we do see these areas where protesters are gathering very closely together, and so you would have to expect and anticipate uh, the possibility that there could be an increase, maybe even a, a small spike and the number of people testing positive for COVID-19 here in the coming days. Now, Governor, I'm actually curious, do you anticipate shutting the state down again if um, cases do increase? We do not anticipate that, and let me explain to you why. Uh, what you uh, saw two days ago, uh, what you may see several days this week, is you will see some spikes in those testing positive for COVID-19, but there are explanations for that. For example, uh, we have gone in and aggressively tested inside Texas prisons and jails, inside nursing homes, inside meatpacking facilities, inside locations where we know there will be a large number of people testing positive, so we are expecting these spikes. But what we have found in the past is whenever we do that, 
we were able to reduce the number of people testing positive, gain control uh, of the spread of the coronavirus, re reduce it, and return that particular area back to normal. So I know that we can contain this by using these surge response teams that we are uh, utilizing to send across the entire state of Texas. All right, Governor, well, thank you for taking some time to chat with us tonight. My pleasure. Thank you. I'll be safe.